The National Fish Habitat Partnership has announced the 10 waters to watch for 2013, and this year's list includes California's Grape Creek, a tributary of the Russian River. The Russian River once hosted thousands of spawning salmon, yet between 2000 and 2009, it was estimated that less than 100 adult coho returned to the Russian River watershed, and landowners are working to bring them back. As a grower, I, um, I, I believe that we can do the agricultural um, processes and not disrupt the fish and not disrupt the, the spawning habitat. You know, the land wouldn't be as fertile or as agriculturally productive as it is if these fish hadn't been coming from the ocean, you know, dying here, providing food for other animals, bringing the minerals back from the ocean. You know, if the fish hadn't done that, I, I don't think that it would be such a wonderful place to grow things. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, along with its partners, funded innovative anti-frost projects that reduce grape growers' dependency on the creek water during spring frosts. Growers misted vines to protect grapes by forming a protective ice jacket to insulate their crops. By eliminating the misting practice, more water is available for endangered Central Coast coho. To provide frost protection all throughout Grape Creek, we really went with two approaches. In the lower system, uh, fans were installed in the vineyards themselves that helped to bring the warm air that's aloft just above the vineyards and blow it down onto the vineyard itself and therefore push out the cold air that would be freezing the vines. Uh, and then in the upper watershed, we were able to employ an off-channel pond because that area wasn't really conducive to these fans because it's not big and flat and open. Water is actually brought to that pond from an off-site well that's not connected to the stream and therefore doesn't impact stream flow. It's stored off-site and that way the vineyard operator can use it in the summer if he needs to irrigate with it and in the winter for frost protection. The Grape Creek project is unique for many other projects because the obstacle for fish was not one large dam, but water being diverted by multiple users who rely on the creek for many different reasons. The service and its partners will continue to find alternative and innovative ways to balance agriculture and endangered species.